We here at the Gaming Zoom Rift Tracks always support any and all that involve the creation and distribution of any show we feature, and we encourage any of those watching to support the official release. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you pre recorded from our internet account. This is the Gaming Zoom Rift Tracks for September 24th, 2016. We're your host, Facebooker2448. And ramp it up, Slon. We, we're back with more double, and it's Terry's introduction arc! Yay! <laughs> Where he's kind of a dick. Yeah. And he's gonna be this way for... Kind like, of a little while. Like eight episodes, I think. I think Ten. that's what... I think that's what we figured it was like eight. Yeah. He's a dick for a while. Yeah. I blame Shroud. <laughs> Okay, we can do that. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at episodes 19 and 20 this week. The Eye Doesn't Stop. That guy's name is Axel and Kamen Rider Style. Which, I'm surprised that's not a name they've used at this point. Seriously. So yeah. We're getting in the Axel this week. In a, any, any thoughts going into these two episodes? Mm, no, not really. Hmm. I have things to say, but they're unrelated to this, to be honest. <laughs> they involve the, 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 the if fucking Pokemon anyway right now, and just like, oh dear. Oh dear. I see two episodes that are going to light the internet on fire, and I'm just going to have to stand back and just go. Well, I'll at least be warm from this. Because I don't know what the say other was. Because, yeah, the, the internet is having a mini fucking argument in of itself about Serena. And now, because of Ash Greninja, of what the implications of this episode summary we've gotten. Which are totally implying, totally implying what people think it's implying. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it, it is. People are right in their like, assumption of what's going to happen in this episode. But, yeah, thing, things are looking bad. <laughs> For all of all of me talking up X, Y, and Z, it may not have the best ending. Which, to be honest, the best ending X, Y, Z could have would have to break traditions. For me, at least. The best possible ending, but have to break traditions for several aspects. And I at least from the looks of Sun and Moon, they're not willing to do it. Which is sad. Especially since, you know, Sun and Moon is breaking so many traditions on its own! Uh. Anyway, you ready on the episodes? Yep. Alright, links are down in the description below, as always. It is the Team Han subs, because those are the subs that are easily accessible without downloading them. So, anyway, we're starting up episode 19 here in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I will say, I do like that all of Teeny Nihon's title cards are at least unifying. They're not all over the place like I think the Gaim ones were. Yeah. The only problem is the title card seems to relate to last week's episode and not this week's episode. Well, you can't have spoilers. <laughs> well. <gasps> also, yeah, there's that pool hall that's like right next door to the office. Which, isn't that the same pool hall from Drive? Probably. I love that Shotaro is doing all of this. God damn it. Huh, huh. I love that Shotaro is doing all of this fancy bullshit for no one except himself. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
Shotaro, how bad is your pull? I have not played pool in years, and I don't think I could be as bad as you right now. Well, someone, well, this is someone practicing the trick shots. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> just flash enough money and we'll just take the job. Pretty much, yeah. And he knows exactly who to butter up in this situation. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, and you end up marrying him. And having a kid, no less. Which I find is fantastic. Mm hmm. You're just jealous of the fact that he can pull off the hard-boiled lifestyle, and you can only pull off the half-boiled lifestyle. Yep. Let's be honest. <laughs> also, he's totally trying to hog the spotlight from you. Oh, by the way, I may or may not regret having mobile notifications for YouTube now. Because <laughs> uh, YouTube changed how you get notifications for subscribers. You can have you get emails and mobile notifications. Yeah, I got like twenty notifications today of new videos that went up from people uh, I subscribed to. Uh, yeah, might be a little too spammy. I might have to go in there and turn it off. Of course, you only get emailed for the live streams. No matter what, you have to get uh, mobile. You can either get email and mobile notifications for new videos, but you only get email updates on live streams. Or huh. uh, no, even with a mobile option, you still get emails for live streams. Is what I'm trying to say. No matter what option you choose, huh. if that makes any sort of sense from the jumbled mess of an explanation that was. He's elite enough to not have to wear a suit. That's how you know someone is special in the police department. If they don't wear a suit, they're special. <laughs> well, that's a kick in the nuts if it is anything.
Uh, do you, you want to give context to that? Yeah, some salt mine somewhere in Japan. I guess the cat's happy. For now. Yeah. He got fed today. Mm -hmm. Huh. You know, they all they still always show that the engine blade is heavy, but I don't think they ever go that heavy with it after this point. Yeah, no. Probably costs too much to, you know, CGI all that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, hell, they still remembered it for his cameo in Drive Saga 1. Mm. Granted, the person who wrote most of Double wrote Drive, so continuity there. Yeah. To be fair, that's his partner, not him, but... <laughs> I, love the, I love that joke, and I so wish they'd do that joke more. <laughs> Just acknowledge the fact it's like, yeah, these things are noisy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Wait, how the fuck do you know it's double? Is that something Trout told them and told him? By the way, I'm totally spoiling a plot point for like next episode, but <laughs> I'm just like, you should not technically know the name just yet. <laughs> Oh, she poofed real quick. <laughs> exactly my question. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Philip. <laughs> you don't listen to anyone. 
Oh. Oh, God damn it. To be fair, they're far less dumb than this. Mm. And to think Shroud thought these two were compatible to start with. Seriously. I'm like, okay. Insul doing all that would normally, of course, rile up Shotro. But that super riled up Philip. Poking buttons. <laughs> Keep poking them, Terry. Mm -hmm. The fucking dark helmets again. Yep. Except for Akiko's. Where we can clearly see it's her. Oh my god. That, that is such a nitpicky thing for me to point out, but Jesus. Well, you're totally not being suspicious. <laughs> That's totally not suspicious at all. Hi, Shrad. You know, I think about it, it's never really explained how she does all the bullshit she does. 
she doesn't use any memories. The only thing she ever uses is a, is a miniature trigger magnum. Well, technically, the only one person here is a detective. The the one of the few times we see that all his coats have pockets for the guy memories. <laughs> Except that doesn't explain where he keeps the driver, but Oh well, well. He pulls it out of one of those pockets too sometimes. Well you know, later on now he has two drivers on him at all times. Which meant he now has to have two pockets for drivers. Or just one infinitely long pocket. True. Jesus. Uh. You know, he clicked the button. But it didn't go off. I know. For whatever reason. I, I never realized that before, but yeah. So remembering the jokes people make with that henshin. <laughs> they just give it a ridiculously long pause. Because Terry gives it a pause because reasons. Yeah, that's a great bit of, like, see, I wouldn't say it's, is it storytelling? No, I wouldn't call that storytelling. Eh, I would say, yeah, it's visual storytelling. The, the difference in how he wields the engine blade between before and after he transforms. Kind of visually show the, the power Axel has off of the bat. Considering, I think, Regular Axel is on par with Fang Joker? Probably. Yeah, there, there's totally not some mass shifting going on in there to pull this off. <laughs> also, I love the terror. He just turns into a bike in order to chase people down, because it's like, you know, I have a bike. But you know what's better? If I can become a bike. <laughs> oh, my God. 
It's such a dumb idea, but they make it work. Of course, with as many figure awards as Double has gotten, I'm surprised they never did a figure award of fucking Oxel bike form. I mean, we got Oxel uh, XL yellow. You know that in between form XL takes uh, before he goes to trial. We got that as a figure art. We got fucking Cyclone XL Extreme as a figure art, but we didn't get XL bike form because reasons. Unfortunately, all he got was a nice clone. Hey, that's a, that's against the code. Mm. You follow the code. Mm. Oh, one episode in so far. How you feeling? Mm. To get her own copy of the damn movie to hold. Uh, Tommy, you there? No. I was say any thoughts before we moved on? Uh, nope. All right. Got 20 all queued up in here. I've got to queue up the next one. Well, <laughs> well. Just gonna sit here. Wait, wait a second. Uh, the episode's queued up ready. Eventually. So like oh, now. Hopefully. Yep. All right. <laughs> Moving on to episode twenty here of double in three, two, one, go. Well, since you're going to go around tacky people, you're going to get questions asked. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, the ship was first born. So 
So is this the reason you're not around for fucking Kamen Rider Tyson? Yeah, because that movie's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just watches the movie and is like, oh yeah, Terry wouldn't be around post-series, even though he's still the head detective for abnormal crimes there. Square Enix is doing a little Final Fantasy XV thingamahoochit right now for TGS. Huh. Tokyo Game Show, not us, in case anyone's wondering. Honestly, I will say that game looks pretty good. I might make that like the first Final Fantasy game I actually attempt to complete. Especially since I'm picking up a PlayStation 4 to do the Summer of Arts Marathon. So I need that to play Eh, it's more the people running the city, technically. That is such a large office for only three fucking people. Jesus Christ. Ah, the dreaded delusional flashback! <laughs> Uh, Bub, if I'm remembering this episode correctly, you have it the wrong way around.
Steep it out so they ain't got to do the effect. <laughs> Just, just showing off all the fancy little tricks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just, just going to go meet this guy because, you know, nothing bad can happen. Damn, that that is that is brutal. Technically, they're going to stop you from crossing a line.
Oh, you're a very angry person on the inside. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, Terry realized that a private detective and a recluse did a better job of investigating this than him and all his training. Mm, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Yep. You really have to emphasize what what horse? Jesus. How much attention were you paying? Mm -hmm. So naive! And yet he's fucking showed you up. Mm-hmm. I know it. You need to calm down. Mm -hmm. uh, days like the day where you just wish that you had an auto fire. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that is two different translations for the exact same line, by the way, from TV Nihon. For whatever stupid reason. Don't deny it, Shotaro. We all know. That, that memory sure took a long time to break. What, do you think you're going to get done with your arc before the end of, in your first outing? Nah, son. Your arc's going to take half the season to get through. Damn <laughs> I love how we're joking about this, considering what happens later.
Well, that's two episodes down. Uh, tell me how you feeling. I will say, uh, Terry's got really good introduction off the bat. So, as much as he's portrayed as a dick, he's not completely unredeemable. <laughs> he's just blinded by his own revenge, and you know, it'd be nice to see him change over the course of the next how many ever episodes it's going to take. We said eight, but yeah, I hope it's eight to be right. But anyway, next week we'll most likely be continuing this. Uh, there are no plans to throw in a random pick just yet, since there's nothing I can think of to do as a random pick just yet. But anyway, uh, I guess that will do it for me and for Tommy. Uh, we'll see you next week on TGSR, folks. Don't forget to check out the links in the top and the bottom and the other shows in the annotations. Also, for those on mobile, all the links are in the description below. Till next time.